I like the idea of starting with this because um, this means that if we come back and we have an idea about what the quirk might be, it'll at least tell us if we were way off, basically, uh, or I suppose more importantly, tell us if we were correct. This should definitely give us battery back from what we were trying to do in the last episode, which was to get battery back from the zappy uh, tourists and the Minutemen and things like that. Uh, the auto parker will make one. Yeah, let's go. Right, cool. And go. We can make a relatable flare. We can make a flare gun. What is that? Because I wasn't there before. Dang it. You know what? For science. YOLO. In for a penny, in for a pound. Is it this? Oh my god. What is this? What is this? It's an odd pod. I can't even take a photo of it. Halo. Halo. When the sky turns against its own and its residents. It comes bearing gifts. There should be something in it. I'm sure of it. How do I open it? Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Crackling crawler? Any more armor? Yes. Quite sure what happened there. Airstrip. Fine. Give me this and then we'll... It's probably the only gate that we can open right now. Whoa! Stop it! It's a bit far away, isn't it? Oh, that's coming in fast. I have not counted on it. That is like the wall in Tron. That's amazing. Whoa! Nearly there! No! Who put those there? That was the worst place to put those bollards. We are home though. We do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Escape through a gateway after the storm has completely collapsed. That was my achievement just now. So why am I being blocked from this limb related space stuff? Are you telling me I can't access any of the data related to synch synchrotron emission? Analysis. You know I can just scan at 408 megahertz on my own time, right? I can collect this sh stuff myself. What are we researching that I'm not allowed to? Bzz, 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 bzz. Right, we did get some stuff that lives in there actually. Well, I'll, I'll deal with the, you know, administration of the stuff. Off camera, the bar at the top left shows how healthy you are right now. There are many dangers in the zone that can harm you from radiation to explos explosions to long drops, so it's important to be careful out there. Do you know, do you remember how I drove straight at the gate and then there was a big cliff? <laughs> That's one of those long drops, for example. You'll only recover slightly when out of harm's way, so it's up to you to heal yourself. You may find first aid kits while exploring, but you can also craft these yourselves from resources you can get. How many of them are there? Once you make it back to the auto shop, the first aid station will, there will make you as good as new, and maybe there's even a few more of those to be found. Ah, that'll be interesting. Storms. You won't last long inside that instability front. Avoid being overtaken at all costs. Check the passenger seat map to locate the gateway. Drive into it to escape back to the auto shop before the storm wall catches you. I, we were close. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were close to losing that completely. Electromagnetic squall. Okay, that was the left-right squall that we got. 
There's something strange in the air, though it isn't wholly meteorological. Whatever this bizarre atmospheric phenomenon might be, it's certainly going to play havoc with your car's electrical and mechanical systems. Crackling Brawler, answer phone message, transcript, origin unknown, January the 31st, 1975. Hey Jill. So we've been through the latest batch of tests and almost everything is negative. You're right to... You're right that this thing does respond to ground vibration and clearly senses nearby movement. Aha! But beyond that, there's no reaction to any other kind of stimulus. Not light, not sound, not radiation, not any kind of changes in atmosphere, humidity, nothing. The best I can suggest right now is that its behaviour is kind of territorial, often attacking anything that it senses is close. Wait, not that I'm saying this thing is displaying intelligence, it's just some kind of chemical reaction. We're still saying they aren't intelligent, right? And uh, anyone, anyone even begin to figure out what these things might be made of yet? That would be interesting. Airstrip. Telephone transcript. Central Exchange Monitoring, September 14th, 1964. Tobias, this is Francis Cook. Yeah, the scientist. The one whose voice I'm not going to do, although we know what it sounds like. I've got a bit of an update for you. I'm afraid it's bad news. Those drums of experimental gravity gel we were sending back to you are not going to get there. Neither is the truck, it seems. We had some kind of atmospheric shift and then more anomalies than I think I've ever seen before. Everyone's safe, but our driver has a broken leg and as for the gel... Well, the whole strip of road between our lab site and that old gas station got smeared and scrambled, so now it's more like some kind of giant trampoline. I'm not kidding, anything that touches that road just takes off. It's starting to spread to some of the forest and swamp nearby. It's not that the gel is just spilled on the ground, it's like it's part of the ground now. Part of the earth itself, so I guess you can update your inventory logs on that. Is there some kind of maintenance request that I should file for this? What was a beating heart? Oh, there's that. Yeah, cool. That actually fixes up a lot, very helpful. Very, very good, thankful for that. Anomalous clouds. Unpredictable weather patterns in this part of the zone mean more cloud-related hazards will manifest at ground level. I think that's what we said. We've got a disruptive discharge. That's the other one. The electrical discharges detected in this part of the zone could damage and disrupt batteries, draining your power reserves. So I was driving into them, trying to get more power out of it, and actually it was making it worse. So it, it presumably it damages it more than it improves it by having a, a, a thing on the back of my car. Anyway, light replacement kit. How many breaches does it take to change the light bulb? We're about to find out. Uh, lights. This factory issued sealed beam lamp is related to, was rated to emit 55 watts of light dead ahead, guaranteed to blind oncoming travellers, immobilised air, and add a diffuse sense of mystery to it. Any, any foggy more? That's what makes more. But, uh, undis how many undiscovered problems can we have? Smashed. Elastifragile. Even the hardiest of lamps can only shine for so long. Stress, fractures, and collisions are bound to take their toll. It's time to install a replacement for this one after giving some silent thanks for its humble service. And luckily, it was just as we discovered a replacement lamp in the in the crash site, in the payload. Zone motors new. Zone motors new number six. Hi, I'm Debbie Reed, and I'm here to remind you that one of the most important things you can do as a motorist in the Olympic conclusion, exclusion zone, which is me, is to use the road respectfully. It's surprisingly busy out there. We've got important convoys, scientists doing field work, and top secret undertakings conducted deep in the woods. Remember that other road users may be in a hurry, perhaps escaping a strange anomaly or experiment gone wrong. Be ready to make way for other road users in an emergency. Don't forget that a helpful zone motorist always carries spares and supplies to help others in need, so remember to pack extra gas, repair tools, and a spare tire. Your help and preparation could really make someone else's day. So that's everything. Um, thank you for watching. Oh yeah, you won't let me out. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. That was an adrenaline-filled, fast action packed adventure of adventurousness. So I hope maybe next time can be a little bit calmer, please, because that was terrifying. Um, and I hope that you'll join me next time to see what is next in the uh, on the itinerary. We've still got to get through this wall. Uh, and we've got a new crafting blueprint, so it wants me to... I wonder if there's a specific blueprint it wants me to unlock, possibly. But until next time, that's the end of this episode. And I hope you'll join me then. Bye!